I'm gonna show you how to make ABC sugar cookies. All you need is some butter, sugar, one egg, vanilla extract, and flour. First, you're gonna start off by adding the sugar along with room temperature butter. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use an electric hand mixer or just really go for it manually. You're going to cream that butter and sugar together for about two minutes until it's light and fluffy. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the edges of the bowl. Next step, I'm going to add that one egg and the vanilla extract. And you're going to beat that together until fully incorporated. And last but not least, I'm going to add the flour. And you're going to mix this together on low speed. Don't want to overmix the flour into the dough. Now we're gonna transfer our dough into some plastic wrap to chill it. It's important that you chill your dough because if your dough is too warm, your cookies are going to spread really thin in the oven and they won't hold their shape. So notice how the dough is coming out a little bit crumbly. That's actually good. That means we haven't over mixed our dough. I'm just gonna take some my clean hands and just kind of form it into a ball. You have one cohesive piece of dough. Press that into a disc, wrap it up in plastic. I'm gonna chill that in the fridge for at least two to three hours. Let's preheat our oven to 375 degrees. I'm just gonna take some flour and flour my clean surface. That way when we're rolling it out, the dough won't stick and start rolling out. We've rolled it out now to about a fourth of an inch thickness and we'll start cutting out the cookies. So I have some alphabet cookie cutters and you're gonna pop that in the oven and bake it for seven minutes. So my cookies are out of the oven. They have fully come to room temperature. And now it's time to decorate. Really get creative. There's no right or wrong with how to do this. Let that icing dry and you'll end up with a creation like this. So have fun and enjoy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make Mother Goose Club character cupcakes, which are great for kids' birthday parties. Today, I'm going to make Eep, Teddy, and Baba cupcakes. The materials you need are vanilla and chocolate cupcakes, chocolate and vanilla frosting, vanilla wafer cookies, assorted candies for ears and bows, food coloring, a pint-sized glass, a knife, a spoon, spatula, scissors, and baggies in gallon and sandwich sizes. Let's start with our Eep the Mouse cupcake. I used a store-bought vanilla frosting that I added one teaspoon of blue food coloring to and whisked. You could also use a homemade buttercream. Now take your large plastic baggie and put one corner down in the bottom of your cup. Fold the bag open over the edges of the cup. Now scoop in your blue frosting until it's full. Now lift your bag out, squeeze out the air, and zip the bag shut. Squeeze the frosting down to the bottom corner of the bag. And then snip the end off. Now you have a piping bag. Starting on the edge of the cupcake, squeeze gently in a spiral motion until you reach the center of the cupcake. To make the face, I filled two baggies, one with black frosting and one with white frosting. Put a vanilla wafer cookie on your counter. Using your black frosting, draw little eyebrows, eyes, a nose, and a mouth. This may take a couple of practice cookies. Use your white to add a little sparkle to his eye. Now take your cookie and place it in the center of your cupcake. To make the ears, cut a chocolate circle in half and place them where Eep's ears would go.
Now trace over the chocolate with your blue frosting. And finish them with two blue candies. And there's Eep. For Teddy, I'm using a chocolate cupcake. I filled a bag with chocolate frosting like I did for Eep. And we start at the edge and work our way to the center. Then we place our cookie face. And our chocolate circle ears. Trace over the ears with the chocolate frosting. For her special bow, I'll add two blue candy covered chocolates. And there's Teddy. Now let's make Baba. For Baba, I'm using a vanilla cupcake and vanilla frosting that I added eight drops of red and two drops of blue into. We're gonna start by making a series of dots around the edge of the cupcake. Then using your spoon, smear each dot towards the center of the cupcake. Now we're gonna make a second row of dots, just like the first. Now let's add our cookie face. And two purple chocolate covered candies for ears. And there's Baba. You can also simply spread the frosting on using a spreader like this, but a regular butter knife will also work. Then add your cookie face and your chocolate candies, and it's just as cute. These cupcakes are the perfect birthday party treat for your little Mother Goose Club fan. Share photos of the Mother Goose Club goodies you make at home by hashtagging Mother Goose Club on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type in comments below, and don't forget to subscribe! <laughs> Today we're making ABC Cookies. It's a fun and tasty opportunity for you to connect with your kids and work on some of those early developmental skills. Cookies! Yes, cookies! cookies. We made it through the cookie. cookies! Now is the time to use your silence. 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 So, let's roll our sleeves up and get right to it. Butter, sugar, egg, vanilla, flour, mixer, ABC cookie cutters, parchment paper, baking sheets, rolling pin, cookie icing, mixing bowls, measuring cups. All right, ladies, so we are going to make some cookies today, but before we need cookies, what do we need? and to make the dough. Today we made ABC cookies. So we got all our ingredients together, we mixed them up, we made some dough. To make cookies, what's the one thing we need? We need to make the dough. We gotta make the dough, so we're gonna make the dough. Today we have some butter, some sugar, some eggs, some flour, but first we gotta start off with the butter and the sugar. So, linen, there's some butter. Isla, there's some sugar. sugar. Now. Lennon, you put the put the butter in there. Don't we get it? Yeah, yeah. All right, Isla, get that sugar over there. I'll put it in a hole though. You make sure you get it in there. You got space. Yeah, man. Whoa. That's where the sweet comes from. All right, so here we go. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Wow. Whoa. Okay. All right. We gotta get it to creamy, okay? So we're gonna let it whip for a little bit longer. It's cool part, you have a little machine to do this for you. If you don't have a machine, then you can just take a spoon or whatever you have and whip it with your hands. I want you to take the first step and, and commit that egg. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You hear that plop? You hear that egg plop? 
Yeah, that's what we're after right there. Go ahead and get all the all the egg white. Why don't you go ahead and hit that? And what you gonna do? We gotta really, really. Vanilla smells like cinnamon. Just a little, just a little. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Ooh. Yeah, good job, Lynn. <laughs> nice with the touch, good job. All right, now Isla. Wait, wait, no, wait. I gotta come down here. Isla, I want you to hit the switch. All right. There muscle. You go. Yeah, you gotta use that muscle, that's right. Now show the camera your muscles. Show the camera your muscles. Yeah, show, look at the camera, show them, let them know. Hey, there you go. You gotta have some muscles. Can I enjoy no, don't touch anything. Can I turn it on? Uh, no, because it's actually sort of hard to do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it with my muscles. Yeah, hey, see if you can hit that too. Hit the girl. Yeah, hit the girl. Hit it one more. One more. One more. Let's whip it. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Look over and see if it looks good, Isla. Ooh. Does it look like? Does it look all right? It's like really yellow. It looks. <laughs> yeah. It looks like. It's turning into dough. Oh, it's looking like dough. It's starting to dough up. It smells good. Yes, yes, you know, your butter, sugar, and vanilla make mm. much magic. Then we rolled that dough, cut some cookies out of it, put them in the oven, then we decorated them. Oh, we gotta pull out our dough, and we're gonna roll our Yeah, dough. roll it. Are you ready? Like a coffee. Are you guys ready to roll some dough? Yeah! Now roll that thing out, girl. You're doing a good job. All right, Lynn, you want to roll it a little bit? <laughs> All right, give it a shot. Hey, Lynn, look at those muscles. <laughs> so now comes the time where we, we have to, to cut. we have to do some cookie cutting. To do some cookie cutting, we have all of your cookie cutters all right here. So you can only cut the cookie if you can nail. Tell me what letter it is. That is what these. Uh, listen. You're not far off. This is the letter Z. We're dealing letters. These are all letters. I'll give you that that hint, okay? A. That is the letter A. Cut a cookie. And um, what letter? C. What letter is that? C. C. That's C. Z. Z. A great job cutting cookies, ladies. And go ahead, press it down. Press it down hard. Use those, use those gymnastics muscle. Oh. Show, show them your muscle face. Show them your muscle face. Oh, Lynn, that wasn't the muscle face. <laughs> you go. And you got your Z, boom, like that. Excellent. Tell them what the L is for. Lay Yeah, <laughs> girl, good yes. job. I want you to find a three letter word. You gotta spell a word for me, okay? Okay? Get that G out of there. Atta girl. You may have to stand up a little bit, put some weight on it. Or you might, and if you have difficulty, you can also tap it, tap it around, like pound, give it a little pound. There you go, yeah. Oh, ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? I could give you some. I'll give you a tool for the. But I think you got. I think you got. Yeah, I think you got a clean cut that time. That a girl. Nice. And Isla, you have a dough A two A for Isla and a Apple. Dough A two A. And two, yeah, two. We have two dough A's. So what do we have? We have A A N G T O L E Z. Perfect. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna go put these in the oven. Come on, let's go. And the cookies are cooked. And they're cool, just to let everybody know. Now, which color do you want? You have a red and green left. I don't know. The green? I got All right, grab, grab the green. I'll grab, a, I'll grab a red. This activity actually goes beyond literacy as it focuses on fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. All right, what are you making with yours, Isla? I'm just gonna outline it. Oh, nice, that's a good idea. Maybe I didn't like those cookies because there were so um, a lot of sprinkles on them. Can we do another one? <laughs> yeah, of course we can. Let's finish the one we do it first. Let's see. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, let's see what else. Get going, and then you got some craziness going on. Yeah, you got the ketchup. You got the ketchup looking icing. ABC Cookies is an activity that engages all five of your kids' senses and gives them the opportunity to engage in some educational and delicious play. Now's the moment we've been waiting for. It's time to eat the cookies. Eat the cookies. You can eat one eat of the cookies. cookies. Mm hmm. So was it worth all the work? Uh huh. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good, enjoy your cookie. It's a great opportunity to connect, and like I said, it tastes delicious. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a delicious rainbow fruit snack that's good for your body and your brain. <laughs> Hi, 
I'm Noah, and this is my uncle Brandon. We're making rainbow fruit snacks. This is more than just a healthy snack. It's also a fun and brain-boosting activity. When kids copy a pattern, like the colors in the rainbow, they get smarter at math. And when they put fruit on skewers, they strengthen finger muscles, which they need for writing. To make these snacks, you'll need wooden skewers, a couple of plates, a large plate or platter to build the rainbow on, and fruit. You could choose whatever fruits you like. Just pick one for each color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Here's what we chose. Strawberries for red, orange slices for orange, pineapple chunks for yellow, green grapes, blueberries, and purple grapes. Here's a plate and some skewers. They have sharp points, so be very careful. Which color comes first in the rainbow? Red, so we should start with the strawberries. Now we carefully poke the skewer through. The safest way is to lay the fruit on the plate and poke the skewer down. Then, push the fruit up. Great! Now what color comes after red? Orange! Next comes yellow. Now green! Next we'll do blueberries for blue. They're kind of small, so let's use three. <laughs> What's our last color? Purple! Great job! Let's put them on the big plate and make some more. <laughs> Gonna make red strawberries for the rainbow. <laughs> What's your favorite fruit? I like grapes. What about you? Mm, I have to go with pi pineapple and oranges. One. One more. This is fun. I can't wait to eat some. Noah, why do you think fruits are different colors? I think fruits are different colors because different fruits with different colors have different vitamins. Mmm, that's a good answer. Mmm, like blueberries bring me blueberry happiness. Right, right. Not sadness, although they're blue. Let's make a double rainbow. <gasps> it's gonna be awesome. Beautiful. I say beautiful. Oh, can you help me out with these bloopers here? Yes. Wolf it? Yeah, wolf it. Great. Aww. Look, we made a fruit rainbow. Yum! Now comes the best part. Let's eat! Yes! Just remember that grapes and other large chunks of fruit can be choking hazards for young children. So it's best to cut the fruit pieces small and to cut the grapes in half before eating. Perfect pineapples. Wanna take a bowl? I love grapes. Show other Mother Goose Club fans your rainbow snacks. Hashtag photos and videos Mother Goose Club. And we listen to all your feedback, so please comment below. Bye! I'm gonna enjoy this. Who bust the mood?
and to move and <laughs> and action. So it is great. Sorry, and to cut the grapes in halves. You got it. Not even a word. So it is bet. Ah. You got this. With him. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the sky. Okay. Are they still like camera and me? So I still have to smile. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? Why are you upset? Wait, did I skip anything? No. Really? <laughs> I am so... Here we go, looking at the camera, because we're still rolling, and... I got a little distracted. <laughs> okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Is that red card? Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is my daughter, Nola. Today we're at the flea market. It is the perfect place to play one of our very favorite games, I Spy. Are you excited? <laughs> it's a great brain-boosting activity that you can play just about anywhere with kids of all ages. Come on, we'll show you how. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, here's how you play I Spy. First, you choose one of the players to be the spy. And then the spy chooses an object silently, like say this blue globe, and then reveals the object to the other players by saying, I spy with my little eye something blue. Then the other players try to guess what the secret object is. If they're having trouble figuring it out, then the spy can give an additional hint. We'll show you how it's done. Mom, you be the spy first. Oh, all right. Let's see. Hmm, let me find an object. Okay, let's start over here first. Hmm, all right, let me pick an object. Let's see. Oh, here's an important tip. Do not look directly at the object when you're giving your hints. That is a dead giveaway. All right, I have my object, cover your ears. I chose the red dye. All right, Nola, you ready? Okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Um, is it that W? It is not that W. Um, is it that red stripe around the pin? Ooh, good one, I hadn't even noticed that. No, that's not what I was looking at. Is it the red dye? Uh, yes, you did it! It is that red dye. And you said the right word because dice is... Two. Two, and a die is actually just one. So you got it, good job. This game is so good for kids' brains. It's not only a great way to expand their vocabularies, but it also develops their powers of observation. So Noel, you wanna play again? Yeah. Okay, I spy with my little eye something blue. Is it that blue block? It is not that cube, no. Keep going. Um, is it this toy car? Uh, no, that's not what I was looking at, although you're right, that's very blue. Try something else. Um, is it that lock? No, that's not what I was looking at. I'll give you a hint. It is something that you wear. Hmm. Oh, is it that pin? Yes, that's also called a brooch, and people wear it on their shirt. Nicely done. Now we'll do one for you. Oh, good, okay. I spy with my little eye something golden. Something golden. Uh, is it that trophy over there? Nope. How about that necklace? Nope. Uh, is it that brush up there? Nope. Uh, the bronze shoes? Nope. All right, I give up. What is it? It's that brooch. Ah, you learned that word before, good job. Nope. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all different skill levels. When Nola was little, I just asked her to point to an object of a certain color. All that matters is that you're making kids think about their surroundings and exposing them to new words. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type any comments into the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos. Bye. <laughs> Stop touching me. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did it, I'm awesome, I did it. Hello, hello. I look like a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be doing a read aloud with my son Lachlan of the book Dinosaur Stomp. He's excited about it and I gotta tell you I am too. Reading at home is an opportunity to explore their interest and gain a love of reading. During this series we give you tips and tricks on how to bring reading to life for you and your little ones. So let's get to it. Today's book is an adaptation of the popular Mother Goose Club song, Dinosaur Stomp. We love this one and we love to get up and get active and if you have a chance with your kids, there's some really cool dances that go along with it. Ah, it's just the moment we've been waiting for. It's Dinosaur Stomp by Harry and Sana Jo. Are you ready? Yeah, all right, let's check it out. Let's see what's going on in Dinosaur Land. Mary and Eep are playing dinosaurs. Did you? Dinosaurs! Oh yeah, that's right. It's time for a snack. What will they eat? What color is that? Oh. Oh yeah? Nice. The Dinosaur Stomp is a great reading resource. It teaches your kids entertaining rhymes and new vocabulary through repetition and movement. What's she doing? Thinking. She is thinking, that's right. Vegetables. Did you know that some dinosaurs ate only veggies? Did you know that? Did you know that? Do you eat your greens? Yeah. You do? No. No, we eat uh, broccoli. We eat broccoli, we eat, we eat a lot of kale. You eat kale? You eat your kale, most days. I don't like kale. Oh, well, you know what? You'll grow out of that. You gotta eat your veggies. You wanna get big, strong like a dinosaur. All right, so. Okay. <laughs> Dinosaurs have great big feet that stomp, stomp, stomp. Do you know where your feet are? <laughs> there you go, yeah. That's stomp, stomp, stomp. That's right. Dinosaurs have great big, what are those? Teeth. Teeth. That chomp, chomp, chomp. Can you? Chomp. <laughs> yeah, there you go. As you're reading, be sure to focus on highlighting new vocabulary and rhyming words. Using a call and response method is a great way to get your kid to participate. I'm a saurus, stomp, stomp. You're a saurus, chomp, chomp. Turn into a blue one. You want to turn into a blue one? Well, then you have to practice your chomp chomp. Dinosaurs have great big claws. Can you show me claws? Let me see your claws. Come on, man. You got to have claws. Hey, there you go, claws. Orange one. Red one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's right. Dinosaurs have great big jaws that munch, munch, munch. What do you like to munch on, Lachlan? Anything. Anything? Show me how you munch. <laughs> there you go, yeah. There are so many benefits to reading books at home. It helps kids learn decision making by choosing the book of the day. They have the opportunity to read at their own pace. You can dig deep, you can recognize patterns, and explore their interest. It inspires a love of reading and learning. Look at her, look at her, look at her crunch face. You make a crunch face? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, 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 munch. Oh no, don't no, munch me. That's not the game. If you have a chance, be sure to check out the Mother Goose Club video for Dinosaur Stomp. It'll give your kids a chance to chomp and stomp on their own a little bit, and you can incorporate some of the moves while you're reading the book. And what's that? Dinosaur. And what's that? Dinosaur. And what's that? Dinosaur. And this is the word. What do you think that word right there says? Uh. Dinosaur. Yes, good job, man. You read the most important word in the book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You chomp, yeah, just chomp, chomp them all. All, yeah, just chomp them. Yeah, yeah. The, thanks for playing dinosaurs with us. Yeah, see, that's it. You, you, you got the hang of it now. Goodbye. After you read the book the first time, ask them if they'd like to read it again. And maybe this time you can trade off on some of the speaking parts. It'll get them to be more comfortable with the material and get them to participate. Construction paper, scissors, glue stick, paper clips. I want you to help me make these hats over here. Can you, make, can you help me make these hats? Yeah. Do you have a few minutes today? I don't have a paper. Well, I'm gonna give you, would you like a paper? I like a piece of paper. We are going to be creating dinosaur hats for our book, Dinosaur Stomp. You'll take your construction paper and you're gonna hold it vertically and then you're going to cut an inch, inch and a half 
long pieces. These pieces will come out looking like this, and these pieces will be used for your headband and for your spine. And then you cut it. You cut it straight as you can, okay? And it doesn't matter if, if you don't do it perfect, you just do your best, okay? Okay, so go ahead and cut your strips. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, okay? And then you're gonna take two other pieces of construction paper, and you're gonna cut them horizontally, and you're gonna get 10 strips about two inches wide, like this. Yeah, now put your fingers there. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, you like the grip? You like the grip? Yeah, see, it's different, right? Yeah, it's a whole different thing. Oh, see, now you got more control, more power. DIY crafts are obviously a lot of fun, but crafting with tools like scissors, glue, paper clips, and those types of things are an opportunity for your kids to develop their fine motor skills. Along with following directions, this activity becomes really, really good for listening and communication skills as well. But most importantly, this gives you an opportunity to spend time together and get creative. Yeah! <laughs> good, good job, dude. Daddy. You'll end up with these a uh, little bit fatter uh, strips, and these will become your spikes. And how we make those, we're gonna fold these over, and maybe about a half inch up, you wanna start cutting them into a triangle. I want you to look something. Will you inspect something for me? You know what it means to inspect? Inspect means to look at it closely and determine whether or not it's working. Look, look, Lachlan. I'm gonna go about a half inch. Do you know how big an inch is? Do you? You do. Can you show me? Look here, bud. An inch is about this big, okay? Then we're gonna do a half inch. It's about that big. Is it about this big? Well, that's a few inches. <laughs> so after you have your spike, you're going to take your spine and you're going to put these two pieces together. So we're throw a little glue right here. And then I'm gonna put this on there. Let's start up, start up here. And then you stand your spikes up. And you're gonna glue this together. Take a paper clip and that will hold it together while the glue dries. We'll do that over and over and over again 10 times. Then you're gonna attach it to the front of the headband, like so. And it will give you a wonderful, magical dinosaur headband. Lachlan, can you say roar? And I crown you king of the dinosaurs? Roar! Roar! That's very good. Ta-da! How do you feel about that? I make this one fit your head a little bit better, but I think you look great. You feel great? You look great. <laughs> king of the dinosaurs, give me one more roar. <laughs> yes, excellent. That's all for today. We hope these videos help you incorporate reading into your everyday life. For more activities and tips on reading, be sure to check out some of our other videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments or even just to let us know what reading means to you and your family. Thanks again for watching. Simon says, pat your heads. Simon says, rub your bellies. Simon says, give your daddy a hug. Yeah! Hey, I'm Jesse. Did you know that playing the game Simon Says with your kids is actually really good for their brains? And it's also a fun way for them to practice self-regulation, the ability to control your behavior. This game also requires players to listen, focus, and follow directions. And if your kids are like mine, well, they can definitely use some more practice in that area. In this video, I'll show you how to play. <laughs> to play, start by choosing someone to be Simon, the leader. Simon will give commands to the other players. When the commands begin with Simon says, the other players must follow those instructions. If the command does not begin with Simon says, any player who follows it is out. All right, guys, we're ready to play. Yeah. You sure? All right. Yeah. So, Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, close your eyes. Reach down and touch your toes. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, move like a robot. Simon says, play the air guitar. <laughs> now freeze. Ah, uh, you're uh, <laughs> I got you. I got gotcha. you.
All right. When kids learn to listen carefully to each command and decide whether to follow, they're demonstrating self-regulation, which will help them do well in school. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. <laughs> Simon says, stand on one foot. Simon says, make a funny face. Simon says, twirl like a ballerina. All right, now bow. Simon says, touch your ears. Touch your nose. Simon says, quietly run in place. Simon says, stop. Simon says, run again. All right, let's take a little break. Ah, oh, got you again. <laughs> All right. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all ages. My little one, for example, may be too young to fully understand the rules of Simon Says. So when I play with him, my focus is introducing him to new words. Simon Says, touch your ears. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, touch your nose. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, smile. Simon Says, Wiggle your fingers. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. <laughs> Simon says, dance in place. Yeah! As you can see, my kids love to play Simon Says, and I love that they get to practice their self-regulation skills. Now we want to know how you and your kids play Simon Says. Share pictures and videos by hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Add your stories in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Simon says, say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Definitely use some. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Simon says, get it together. <laughs> so, the ability to. <laughs> the ability to control your behavior. <laughs> you guys are so good. Oh, you just me in the face. I, I can't win. I can't win with these guys. <laughs> the ability to control your beat. <laughs> Simon says. Simon says, rub your belly. Oh, okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> Yeah. Really good for your kids' brains? No. Really good for your kids' brains? That sounds funny. Actually, really good with, really good with their brains. So you have your kids and their brains. Touch your nose. Touch your nose, Ooh. dude. You're good. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get him on that one. When kid, wait, wait. <laughs> when, gosh, when kids learn, ow now, brown cow to understand the rules of practice there's ah, and share and add too young to understand ah, if the command ah. Simon says let's take a bite yeah, it's a fun, fun it's a fun way fun fun funions <laughs> patty cake patty cake baker's man Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Hi everyone, my name is Liam. I play Eep the Mouse on the Mother Goose Club. One of my favorite rhymes is patty cake, and in this video, my friend KJ and I will show you how to do it. <laughs> rhymes and songs are super fun. They're also great for little kids, and one reason is memory. Hearing words in a rhyme makes them easier to learn and remember. We're going to do patty cake one time, then go through it line by line. You ready? Yes. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, roll it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. If your kids are old enough, you can do the first two lines like this. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Or for babies, you can hold their arms and do it for them. Are you ready to be a baby? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. For the last two lines, pretend to bake a cake. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. One more time from the top. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Get your kids to do motions with you, any motions, because moving along with a rhyme or music makes kids more coordinated. As you can see, patty cake is good for kids of all ages. If your baby is too young to understand the words, she can start learning the sounds and enjoy the time you spend with her. So get in there and patty cake it up. Show off your mad rhyming skills by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tips and songs. And check out Mother Goose Club's patty cake starring you know who. One reason is memory. If the mm, hearing words, hearing words in a there you go, that's it. That's is good for kids of kids, kids, kids. <laughs> I love the oven, baby. I'm sorry, I okay. forgot. Could you, <laughs> could you, <laughs> one time, again, then, I'm sorry, whoa. Let me have your head. <laughs> there, no, don't turn your body. Just, just let me have your head. What's the line? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Helps them. Makes. 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 Makes them. Makes. Makes them easier makes. to learn and remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got it. I just, I, just, I just get in front of the camera. I'm like, uh. Where are you supposed to look at it? Uh, One more time from the top. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there it is. And It'll roll. roll. <laughs> <laughs> you got an itch. Let's tell One more time from the top. <laughs> yeah. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.